All right, in this video, we are going to be doing 1994 AB5, which is a related rates problem, kind of been on a related rates kick lately. Um, so let's see, see what we got here. Um, circle inscribed in a square shown in the picture. Okay, circumference of the circle is increasing at a constant rate of six inches per second. So that's telling me that like, uh, I guess DC DT is six and then inches per second. I like to, when I'm reading the problem, like write down everything that was given and see if I can like, you know, get a sense of the problem, like what's what's happening. Like here, I know like circumference and radius are related. So I could probably find DRDT. If I can find DRDT, I could probably find the rate of change of the area of this thing, like who knows. As the circle expands, the square expands to maintain the condition of tangency. That's kind of interesting. That's like Back in 1994, I feel like that was way harder to imagine, but now with like computer graphics, super easy. Like imagine this is a web page and you just like grab the corner and drag it over and it just like keeps everything in proportion. Like super, it's much easier to imagine these things now than it used to be. 1994, back in the day. Um, all right, find the rate at which the perimeter of the square. So the square, okay, I have an idea about that. So you know, this, if this is R, which it should be, then uh, this is 2R, which means the perimeter of the square is 4R. No, it isn't. It's 4 times 2R. It's 8R. Whoops. Um, all right. So I know the rate of change of circumference. And for some reason, they told me this, but I just, I happen to know the circumference of a circle is 2 pi R. So if I take the derivative with respect to time, of both sides of this, that'll give me, you know, dc dt pretty clearly is 2 pi dr dt. And then I know that dc dt is 6 because that was like suspiciously given to us in the stem of the question. So 6 equals 2 pi dr dt. So dr dt is weird, which it would have to be for there to be no pi in the rate of change of the circumference, like DRDT must have a one over pi type situation. Um, in this case, three over pi is DRDT. Not the question though, the perimeter we said is gonna, well, I had initially said four R cause who knows, um, there's four of these two R. So the perimeter of the circle square, oh my God, is eight R. So, derivative of the perimeter with respect to time is going to be 8 dr dt. And dr dt we just found is 3 over pi, so that's weird. So dp dt is going to be 8 times 3 over pi. So dp dt is 24 over pi. Indicate units of measure. Um, circumference is in uh, inches per second. And there's no reason that perimeter wouldn't be the same thing. It's like linear units. so. Um, that's also going to be inches per second. Okay, feeling good about that. Feeling okay about that. Now I'm pretty confident. Doing, we do these basically live, so I don't really know the answers ahead of time or after the fact. I just like do them and post them if I feel good about it. Um, at the instant when the area of the circle is 25 pi square inches. Okay, so then the radius is five. Um, find the rate of increase in the area enclosed between the circle and the square. Indicate, okay, so what are we doing? Um, so like if I had a square, which I do, and then if I had a circle that was totally tangent to this thing, which I will potentially, which I do. All right, the thing that we're trying to find is the rate of change of the area between them. So like, okay, apparently not maybe do it. Why can't I draw on that? Do you think? Oh, I have an idea. I think I like changed the fill the other day to like white on like, I didn't even know you could do that. And then I did. So it's like all of the figures that I've drawn now are like filled in in white and you apparently can't draw on top of that. These are just minor issues that you run into with these sorts of things. But anyway, uh, we're trying to find the rate of change of this area based on like a lot of stuff that I forgot while I was dealing with that. 
So what is that area? That area, um, so the square, what squares don't start with that. The square area we already have said is uh, 8R. The circle area is going to be pi R squared. Um, we're talking about the instant when the circle is has an area of 25 pi. So I'll show the work, but 25 pi equals pi r squared. So r is definitely five. So r will be five. And we're trying to find the rate of change of um, increase in the area. Okay, so the area overall is gonna be the square minus the circle. So let's find dA dt is gonna be eight dr dt minus two pi r dr dt. We know dr dt for some reason. Yeah, we know dr, dr dt is three over pi. So let's do this. Three over pi dA dt equals eight, three over pi. I mean, I guess it makes sense that it's the rate of change of the square minus the rate of change of the circle. Um, but I don't think I'd found the rate of change of the circle yet. I'm basically trying to excuse myself for like doing this. I feel like there was supposed to be a clever way or a more clever way that I did not see ahead of time. 24 over pi minus 10, 30, 30, just straight up 30 because the pi is canceled. That's weird. Minus 30, really? 15 times two is 30, okay. Eight over pi. No, 24 over pi minus 30. That's not increasing though, right? Because uh, uh, that's, I mean, 30 has got to be bigger. So is there a problem? Five, dr dt is, is universally three over pi. Um, find the rate of increase in the area. I mean, should it be getting smaller? like out at infinity or as it gets, as it get, it, I feel like it gets bigger as, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't like this answer because I feel like this answer is wrong, but I don't see what's wrong with it really. R is five, definitely. Eight R is definitely the perimeter. I just don't like that it said rate of increase and now I'm pretty confident this is negative. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put the units and I'll say it's centimeters per, no, it's uh, something inches squared, in, square inches per second. All right, well, I don't know. I might be back to uh, revisit this because this is definitely a negative and that's not an increase. I wish they had just said the rate of change and like, I have no real intuitive sense as to whether or not this area should be in, it's gotta be increasing, right? I mean, like they don't get closer. Like you're always, if I blew this up like 10 times, that would be bigger. So it's gotta be increasing. There's got to be something wrong with this. What is it? The square is definitely eight R. Oh, the square is not eight R. Ah, boy, there you go. The square is not 8R, that's the perimeter of the square. And now I'm thinking, now I know, do I know anything now? I don't know. Um, it's, it's definitely crud, it's definitely uh, 2R squared, it's 4R squared, come on. Oh, and now I should have factored out R squared and get like four minus five times two, whatever. We'll, we'll just go with it. Eight, eight R, another dr dt. This makes more sense. Eight R is equal to five, dr dt is three over pi. 40, 120. I mean, it's still weird because of um, over pi-ness, but 120 over pi is definitely bigger than 30. This is, this is good. I'm gonna, you know, sometimes I throw these videos away when this kind of thing happens and just do it again and look real smart. I'm going to leave this one because I think that was a good conversation that I just had with myself trying to work that out. 
And that's what you got to do, right? AP exam, you got like 30 extra minutes because you blew through everything else. And you're just like, why doesn't this make sense? Start thinking it through. I'm really happy. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I'm pretty confident in this answer. So anyway, that was me struggling my way through uh, 1994 AB5. I hope you found this helpful uh, and good luck.